operated ferry route in the state of Connecticut, the first being the Rocky Hill Glastonbury Ferry, started in 1655. This ferry was started in 1769 as Warner's Ferry. It was named after Jonathan Warner, who owned land on both sides of the river. Back then, it was a barge pushed with long poles. Over the years, there have been sail powered, cable powered, and steam powered ferries. The ferry landing was turned over to the state in 1917, and today they use a diesel-powered, double-ended nine-car ferry. The double-ended ferry doesn't need to turn around. It has one engine to propel it one way, and another to propel it the other way across the river. This is the waterborne continuation of Route 148, and that particular boat has been running there since 1949. Now on our starboard side, we are coming up on Gillette's Castle. It is one of Connecticut's most popular state parks. It was built by William Gillette, who grew up in Hartford into a wealthy family. And his father, a former U.S. Senator, had strong objections to William becoming an actor. But as we know, he became a very famous actor. He was best known for his portrayal of Sherlock Holmes, who he portrayed more than 1,300 times. Gillette discovered their site while sailing up the river on his houseboat, the Aunt Polly, and fell in love with it. At some point, the boat burned, and at low tide, you could still see the remains of the boat in the river. In January of 1914, Gillette purchased 184 acres of land from local farmers on the highest of the seven hills in the area known as the Seven Sisters. Gillette traveled extensively through Europe and England, and he wanted to build a home to look like the medieval castles that he fell in love with over there. And therefore, the building has sort of a falling down ruin look to it. He once called it his Hat Limestone, but he ended up calling it the Seventh Sister instead. Gillette spared no expense building his home. He lived aboard the Aunt Polly as he oversaw the construction of the cellar and first two floors starting in 1914. It took 20 men five years at a cost of over $1 million to build the first two floors in the cellar. That's roughly $24 million today. Gillette began his semi-retirement in the castle and oversaw the construction in and uh, the construction of the first, the third floor and towers, which were completed in 1924. Joy was quite inventive and designed every feature inside and outside the 24 room, 14,000 square foot castle. One of his many hobbies was trains. He built a miniature railroad over the property and called it the Seventh Sister Short Line. It ran a three mile loop over trestles along cliffs of um, near the river and through a small station in the woods, which is up there today. You might be able to see it from here. Yep. Joy entertained many famous people at the castle. Some of the more famous guests that you may have heard of include Albert Einstein, Henry uh, Ford, Alan Hayes, Charlie Chaplin, who, as a young boy, starred in one of Joy's first plays, and President Calvin Coolidge.